Hello from San Antonio, this is Siren Taro, and this is the Scorpio Moon Reading for February 2021, using the Legend Arthurian Tarot deck. <clears throat> if you have any personal planets in Scorpio, or Scorpio Rising, or stuff in the 8th house, which is the house of Scorpio, this may resonate with you. But I do specify the moon in my monthly readings. Tunamas. Bueno. The Hanged Man. This is a lot of situation. Three of Cups, Focus, Focus, come on, you can do this. The colors are really washed out in this deck. <clears throat> the colors don't pop. Got two ring lights, a lamp, a tower, the tower. I said the tower. Is this getting on your nerves? Yeah, it's getting on my nerves because I want to show these pictures. Okay. The Horned One, Carnunos, the Devil. All this major damn arcana. A page of Shields. You get the gist. So, I see a lot of frustration and impatience in February. <clears throat> You're wanting to move. You're wanting a change. Um, you're in the car, and it's a fast car. It's a good car. Hell, I don't know. It's a my stomach. It's a... Um, a Mustang. I don't know my cars. A Porsche, a Corvette, a Trans Am. Do they still make Trans Ams? Hell, I don't know. You're in this car. And it's a good car. It can go really fucking fast. But you're turning the key and the engine won't turn. So there's all this potential, potential for movement, potential for massive energy, something exciting, something just blowing up. But it's not happening, not in February. This potential is not realized. You could be waiting on a promotion. I focus on love, sex, romance, relationships at my channel. I'll do the occasional career reading, but uh, 
you could be waiting on someone to contact you. You could be waiting for a connection to move from connection to relationship. But it's stalling. I see stalling in February. Because, I mean, my God, we have all this major arcana. It's the calm before the storm. That's what this is. The hanged man. The fool. The horned one. The devil. The tower. We have three of cups and we have page of shields, which that's page of pentacles. You're waiting for someone to get real with you. There's been this really intense flirtation and you sense that something is there, that there's potential with this person. They're not really showing up. They're not really showing you who they are. They're keeping it very light, very superficial. And if you have Moon and Scorpio, there is a pretty good possibility you don't do superficial. You don't have much of a tolerance for something shallow. You want to go deep. You want to really get to know someone. Um, and there are astrologers who say that Mars is the ruler of Scorpio. Mars is the traditional ruler of Scorpio. I acknowledge Pluto as the new ruler of Scorpio. but. Similar to Aries, um, you can be really impatient, certainly when you fall in love. You want to know the person in their totality. You don't want the mind games. You don't want the smoke and mirrors. You want to get real. You could have some strong Capricorn in your chart. You could have Saturn moon. Uh, Saturn conjunct moon or your Saturn is hitting your moon in some way possibly but you want to get real and this person's just putting up a lot of resistance you don't feel that you can trust this person please clarify the hanged man or the fool one card queen of shields I feel like this is you. I feel like you probably have a lot of Earth in your natal chart. I'm seeing Capricorn because we have the Devil, but Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. You're losing your patience with this person. You may have issued this person an ultimatum recently. You may be considering blocking this person on social media. I feel like this person has a lot of Gemini in their native chart. Please clarify Three of Cups or the Horned One, one card. The Priestess. You already know <clears throat> what to do regarding this person. Your intuition has spoken. You know it's probably in your best interest to walk away from this, to dismiss this person from your life. So why are you holding on? Well, you sense all this potential. It's a really strong connection. It's a strong attraction. Please clarify the tower over Page of Shields, one card. Seven of Shields. Maybe you're being patient, but I feel like your patience, it's running thin, it's running out. Please provide an energetic summation for Scorpio Moon, February 2021. Three additional cards. Star. 
star. That's Aquarius. I associate the star with social media. I feel like distance is probably a factor. You've made never you probably never met this person in person. It's been an online thing. The moon. I like to call out astral combos. It's fun. I just love astrology. So if this is your story, it's your story. Don't get too hung up on the astrology, but a possible astral combo for your person of interest is Sun and Gemini, Moon and Pisces, Aquarius rising. But all this major arcana to me, it just shows resistance. This person's not getting real with you. They're not showing who they truly are. They're hiding behind something. The lovers, Gemini. I just caught out that combo, and there it is. Aquarius, Pisces, Gemini. Synchronicity. This person is duplicitous. You feel that you can't trust this person. They're not really showing you who they are. That's what I see. If this has been going on for a while, it's pretty much more of the same in February. So that's what I have. I hope that helps. Thank you all so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Sending you all massive love and light from San Antonio.